Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're now in Avebury itself. And I'm taking a little walk. It's about a two mile walk, which I haven't done since about 1992-ish. And it's a walk from the National Trust car park. And we're going up via Silbury Hill to West Kennet Long Barrow which I haven't been to since 2018 with Richard Phobes. So, yeah, it's gonna be good. Um, the main bulk of Avery will be in the next day. But, um, yeah, I thought, why not? Let's, uh, let's have a little walk up there. This is two miles, it's not two miles. Um, unless I walk fast, I don't know. But let's, uh, let's have a look. Apart from the mud, would this be an ancient track wave out of the Henge um, going up to West Kennet? Don't know. Could be an ancient track way. It's now a lovely pathway that goes up to the A4 road. You cross over up to West Kennet Long Barrow. Got done some walking today. Quick look at Silbury Hill. There it is. The largest prehistoric man-made structure in Europe. Purpose unknown. Excavation into it uh, revealed nothing. Um, legends about King Seal. But nothing has been found in there that even indicates that it's a burial mound. That had been chalk white five and a half thousand years ago. Chalk white. It's an amazing structure. Some of my friends have done night watches up there. I mean, not supposed to go up there a few years back. And um, saw some interesting things, followed by military aircraft. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, Silbury Hill's a very, very unique place. You've got the Winterbourne and the Kennet River flowing through the landscape. And Avebury, sorry, Silbury Hill would be probably underwater in the winter. Because there's a lot of natural springs around. Huh, Swallowhead Spring, of course. But, um, yeah. There it is, Silbury Hill. people ahead. That's annoying when you're trying to video because I'm a fast walker. Oh well. I've always thought that Avebury is more important than Stonehenge. Um, the energy here is really quite strong. When I went to a, a Stonehenge a couple of years ago with Dodie, nothing. Apps got absolutely nothing. Absolute tourist trap. Um, unlike this place. We've crossed over the Biddy A4, the old London to Bath Road, and heading up to West Kennet Long Barrow. Uh, we might go by Swallowhead Spring, which is over there, on the way. If I remember from last time, there's cows in this field. Yeah, there's one over there. But I'm sure it's fine. What's interesting here, you've got obviously Silbury Hill. You've got the mini Silbury, just over there, which I don't think has been thoroughly explored, really. And you've got the mound over at Marlborough College. 
but it's on private ground unfortunately. Are they related? We ask ourselves. Okay, the walk up to Silbury Hill. There's a family behind me, so I might not have the place to myself. How selfish is that? Yeah, I haven't been here for four, five, six, six years? Seven years? Six years, yeah. So, uh, it's gonna be cool. You can hear the helicopters in the distance on maneuvers. Interesting. There it is in the distance. Helicopter. Here we are, West Kennet Long Barrow. Thousands and thousands of years old. Oh, it's so good to be back. It's gonna be a bit dark, guys. Oh. Lots of tea lights. An offering in the middle. You probably can't see me at all now, can you? I put an offering, I think it's like 20p, in one of the alcoves back in 2006. And I wonder if it's still there. I'm just going to tune out a bit. I might switch the camera off and just tune in a little bit. So many scattered bones were found in these chambers when it was excavated. I remember um, Rob and I sort of meditated in here and it seemed like a, like a time slip. It seemed to be ages we were here. Um, oh, it's so cool. Some nice little offerings people have given. The acoustics are very good in here. Um, but a lot of concrete has been used, which might have diminished the resonance that Peter Knight and his research has shown. We did some chanting in here a few years back. That was amazing. So this is West Kennet Long Barrow, you've got East Kennet Long Barrow, I've said before, which is just over the road there. Um, and we've got a family coming in, so I'm not going to linger too much, but I just want to show you West Kennet Long Barrow. The Mary Current flows through here, down to Swallowhead Spring, and then meets the Michael over in um, near the Obelisk at Avebury. I mean, what a what a scene! Look at that. I was going to go to Swallowhead Spring, but it's really muddy leading up to the entrance, so I'm not on this occasion. 
it's a shame I haven't been there for eight years but um, there you go nice little walk up to West Kennet Long Barrow hope you enjoyed this little video um, please like subscribe comment if you've been here I want to hear your stories and we'll see you on the next video from Avebury on a very windy Avebury take care